Hey, earlier I got two new pairs of shoes at Academy that were on sale. And it got me to thinking, you know, one of my favorite things is shoes, okay? Why haven't I done a shoe video? So, here I am. We're going to do a quick little shoe video and I'm going to tell you about, you know, kind of where I started with shoes and kind of where I'm at now. Okay, the lighting is poor in here. We're in the bedroom. So, I've kind of got everything twisted here where you're not blinded by the light. Okay, so let's talk about this. Nike Shocks. I know everyone's had a pair. This pair is really old. I've had this pair for 15, maybe 20 years. I used to be religious about Nike Shocks, okay? They were great shoes back for a long time, but they're, they were heavy. So what's happened over time is, you know, they've got to where they've made shoes that are so much lighter. So, you know, I see people now buying Nike Shocks and I'm just like, what are you even thinking? Those shoes are heavy, they're clunky, they're just awful. Just, they're, I, it's my personal belief that they're not good for your feet, okay? So I no longer wear the Nike Shocks, but what I used to like about this shoe is it's got cat hair on it because it sits in the bottom of the closet. But what I used to like about this shoe is you could throw on a fresh coat of shoe polish and you could wear it. You could play dress up with it because I'm not the guy that wears uh, dress shoes, okay? I won't do it. I, I won't even wear a pair of jeans. I, nowadays, I wear slacks. I like cargo slacks, stuff like that. And you could just throw on a comfortable pair of tennis shoes and go to a funeral, wedding, church, whatever you want to do. That way you don't have to wear those uncomfortable dress shoes. Okay, so check out these bad boys right here. Michael Jordans. The only reason I have these things is because I won't pay for basketball shoes. I need my shoes to be multi-purpose. When I buy a pair of shoes, I want to be able to wear them, uh, if I can, wear them to dress up, wear them to go run. Just wear them out and about, grocery shopping, whatever you got to do. And the problem with basketball shoes is they're just one-dimensional. They're, they're literally just for basketball. If you wear them for a long time, they're just not comfortable on your feet, okay? So, I have them. I don't really play ball anymore. I, we used to go, I remember we used to go to the Garland Rec Center uh, with the guys, and we used to play, and it was fun. So, I miss these guys. That's when I was young, and I could do that kind of stuff. So... Next, man, I used to wear the heck out of these things. These little Nike slides. If you go to the store, they're usually like in the soccer aisle. These things are like feather light. Absolutely amazing. If you like slides, this is what you do. Now, getting into it, I'm going to kind of, I don't really wear the slides anymore, but I'll tell you what I do wear. Crocs, man. Crocs are amazing. These things got some paint on them. I was working one day in the Crocs. I wear these around the house because I don't walk barefooted in the house. I wear these to the lake. I wear them. I run to the store. If I go to Walgreens, racetrack, go grab something real quick, I wear them. People laugh at me. It makes me look like an old man. <sighs> Forget about you. Crocs are nice. They're quick. You slip them on. You get home. Man, Crocs are amazing. You don't have to tie your shoes. I love them. If you don't like Crocs, stop judging those who do. Okay. Crocs, that pair of Crocs. We got another pair of Crocs. Check this out. Crocs, Crocs, Crocs. These are like my late Crocs, man. They they stay on your feet a little bit better. Now, here's what I will say about these. When you're out in the lake or you're out in the creek, little pebbles get in here, and it can be a royal pain. You'll be limping around for 30, 45 minutes trying to wiggle that rock out from under you. Eee! It can be tough, but hey, these are great for that. This is my mm, beaver's been wading shoes, trout fishing. Oh. The best time ever. Okay, so we got those done. So, basketball shoes. Let's talk about these. Man, I got these on sale the other day. I wouldn't normally buy basketball shoes, but check these out. These are called Black Mambas, baby. Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. Had to pay my respects. Matter of fact, I bought these literally oh, 30, 60 days before he passed away. I feel good about this purchase now. They're comfortable shoes, but let me tell you. They're hard. They have a very hard sole. After you wear them for a couple hours, they're just not really comfortable. This is not a shoe where you'd want to be walking around the state fair, okay? It's just not. Do not, if you have a pair of Black Mambas, do not wear them to the state fair and walk around for 12 hours. It's not happening. But with that said, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't go to the state fair. Mm, I don't like them large crowds. Goodness, stay away from me, people. COVID, ooh, <coughs> Okay, going through it, going through it. Let's talk about something real quick. Check these out. These are Nike Sharks, okay? 
football cleats have come so far from when I was a kid. But I tell you what I miss. You can't find a pair of leather football cleats anymore. It's non-existent. And the ones that are real nice and fancy, they're like $150. I don't need a $150 pair of cleats. I'm not an elite football player here. But I tell you what I do with these. If I'm going to mow the yard, which I don't really do anymore, I, my kids mow the yard for me. How about that? So, if I'm going to mow, this is what I wear. But I don't, I don't really mow anymore. But... I'll go out to the boys' football practice. If I'm out there helping coach or whatever, I'll put these on because when I'm out there, boy, do I get down. Boy, I'm just down and I'm ready and I'm moving and I'm shifting. And I can't watch football without being part of it. Sometimes on a Sunday afternoon, I put these bad boys on in the living room and watch my football game. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's talk about Brooks. Brooks running shoes. Brooks are amazing. If you can't tell, I've worn these for work quite a bit. I enjoy working in tennis shoes. You know, if I'm on a job site and I don't have to worry about a whole bunch of nails and things like that, I'm going to work in tennis shoes. But even if I do step on a nail, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been working around construction and things like that long enough to know, as soon as I feel that nail start to go in the sole of my shoe, I'm lifting my foot. I know a lot of people don't believe this because I'm a big guy, but I got cat-like reflexes. Meow. Another pair of Brooks. Check these out, okay? I was, funny story. I'd been telling my sister that I wanted a pair of these rainbow colored Brooks, and I'd been begging her for them. Now, she was good about getting me Brooks, but she's just like anybody else, just like me if I'm buying my own pair of shoes. You want to look for the $99 pair, the $105, $110 pair. This rainbow Brooks right here, oh, don't laugh at me. But I drove over here to one of these expensive shoe stores over there by SMU campus because it's the only pair that I'd seen them. And they were like $169. And I text my sister and I said, sister, will you get me these? And she said, no. So I bought them myself. Turns out I don't hardly wear the things. Let me tell you why I don't hardly wear them. I was wearing Brooks running shoes a whole lot. And let me, let me pull this other shoe back up. You see this shoe right here. This shoe's got this high heel support. And that shoe is comfortable to me because of that high heel support, because there's no slippage. Well, this particular style of Brooks, and what is that? This is the Brooks uh, Launch 5. It's got this lower heel, and you tend to have heel slip, and it's just really hard and really thick padded right here. And it starts to really bruise your heel towards the end of the day after you wear it for a long time. And to me, it just became uncomfortable. Now, I had several. Normally, when I find a shoe that I really enjoy, I'll keep buying the exact same shoe. I know there was a time, and I forget the name of the shoe, but it was a Nike shoe. And for 10 years, I did nothing but buy that shoe. And I'd buy a new, say, two pair of that same style of shoe every single year. And I'd just burn right through it because it was so comfortable. But they always, as time goes by, you know, because I've been a shoe connoisseur for 20, 30 years as time goes by, they continue to change the styles of the shoes and it drives me crazy. And they even have gone to this little mesh, this this mesh that they put on the shoe. And I'm not a real big fan of that either. But we've got those. And then, uh, you know, this pair right here, this is, hey, this is expensive. This is Nike Fly Zoom. It's supposed to be rated like the number one running shoe for like half marathon people, 10Ks, 5Ks. Super duper light. It's got this. I bought this $168. I got this because it has this very, very high heel. Now, laugh if you will, but so when I started physical therapy about four or five months ago, I found that I had them actually measure my legs because I had a suspicion that, uh, is that a word? Suspicion that I had uh, one leg that was shorter than the other. They actually measured my leg, and my right leg is a half inch shorter than my left. So I now wear a heel lift in my right shoe, which is another reason for having this higher heel, because whenever you add a heel lift as an insert to your sole, it now pushes my foot up, and I have trouble finding a shoe that has a high enough heel to actually still grab my heel. So that's one of the reasons I bought this. Now I will say, look at the bottom of this shoe. Okay, it doesn't have a very wide heel. Now, we'll compare it to another shoe. Look at the size of this heel, the width versus the width of this. This shoe is strictly made for running. You put this on and you try to go walk around, I promise you, you will twist your ankle. Okay, it is important to know how you walk, your pronade to the way you walk, 
and the type of shoe that is going to work for you. There's running shoes, there's stability shoes, there's all kinds of different shoes. This is not a walking shoe, this is a running shoe. I haven't been running, I haven't been wearing them. Doesn't matter, shoe's always going to fit me. If I want to wear it when I'm 60 years old, I'll wear it when I'm 60 years old. So, Nike Fly Zoom, $168. Get ready for this. Hold on to your seat. Nike Zoom, not a Fly Zoom, but a Zoom, okay? Basically the same style of shoe, different material, still has the high heel, okay? It doesn't have the whole slip-on aspect. And when I say slip-on, we're talking about it's got a shoelace, but it also has a little comfort fit sole here. Comfort fit there to where you have to slip the shoe on. This does not have the slip on, it's just a regular tie, but it still has the high heel. I just got these today, I've got a pair on right now. I got a black pair and this gray pair. It's gonna be great for wearing my heel lift. It's. I think this is gonna work out. But I do need to be careful when I walk because it does have this heel, smaller heel. I really don't think it's as small as this heel, the the, the fly zoom. And I'll compare the two here. No, it's, it's absolutely not. Uh, the zoom has a little bit larger heel than, than, than the fly zoom. So that's good. I'm going to be able to wear these for multiple purposes and I'll even be able to wear them at work. It's going to be great. <clears throat> so, uh, my friend Rob had been wearing uh, Hoka's for a while. And, you know, Hoka's are great. They're great shoes. But you're not going to find a pair uh, of men's Hoka's for, they range between $160 and $220. Now, I finally got a pair a few months ago, and I like them, and I wore them for a long time, but I'm just kind of experimenting trying some different shoes because you know, I like to wear, I don't, I don't really ever like to wear the same pair of shoes more than one day at a time. If I could rotate two to three different pairs of shoes throughout the week, that's the way I like to do it. That's kind of what the military instills in you. If you wear a pair of shoes one day, well, then the next day you allow them to dry, okay? That way your shoes don't stink, and it just keeps your feet healthier and everything like that. But... I finally got a pair of Hoka's, and my, and my wife has several pairs of Hoka's. She loves them. They're perfect for her work at the hospital. But I got a pair of Hoka's, and these are primarily stability shoes, okay? You see the thickness of this sole. Great stability shoe. Still has the high heel for comfort, and it's just a really good stability shoe. If, if you're into walker, let, let's, let's say you're an older person or even a younger person that doesn't like to run. You just like to walk. This would be a great shoe. The shoe is still lightweight enough to where you can run in it, but you're probably not, with a wider sole like that, you're not going to be able to make up as much ground. You're going to use more energy running in this shoe than you would if you ran with the shoe with the uh, more narrow sole like the, like the Zoom Flies, okay? So let's talk a little bit about work boots real quick. I don't really like to wear work boots too much anymore. Um... But if you really are working out on a construction site, you need to have on work boots, you know, so you, you know, don't damage your feet by stepping on sharp metal objects, nails, etc., etc. So, I've got several pair of these. These are Justin slip-on boots, okay? This is one of my older pair. Um, now, in boots, I wear a size 13 tennis shoe, but in boots, I generally wear about a size 12, okay? They're a size smaller. I wore slip-ons for a long time. I don't necessarily uh, believe in slip-ons anymore. Let me tell you why. Slip-on boots, they're, you know, they're easy to get on at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day, and they're easy to get off at the end of the day. But the thing with slip-on boots is I don't feel like they give you the ankle support that you need. You're out there walking around all day at a job site. You can step in potholes. You twist your ankles, things like that. And I really do attribute, I wore those slip-on boots every day out here uh, building fences for three or four years. And I found that right now I have a lot of ankle problems. My, you know, my feet are swelling. I get home at the end of the day and my ankles are extremely sore. And I had stopped wearing slip-on boots because of that. And I'm starting to feel better with time. But if you wear slip-on boots, please think about how they're doing on your ankles. If you're having ankle pain, well, then think about it. Maybe try a different boot than the slip-on. I've got two more pairs of work boots that we're going to talk about real quick. Uh, as most of you know, Sears, you know, was going out of business, you know, bankrupt. They've closed a lot of stores. I was in a Sears one day. I went 
mannequin shopping with my friend Rob. Uh, we like to have mannequins because you can hang your uh, running trophies on the mannequins. You can put your running shirts on the mannequins and put your trophy on there and take a photo of it as a memory. Um, or if you want a, uh, you know, a, a trophy or something that day, you know, it's, it's a memory of, of that shirt that you got for that race and the medal. And, you know, he's got several mannequins that he just keeps in his office. That way he just can look at them and enjoy it. But we went to Sears to mannequin shop and I found these pair of Caterpillar work boots and these are amazing. I got these for $19.99. It's a, one of my favorite pair of boots. It's a mid high lace up gives you ankle support it's a great great boot really thick sole like i said i can't just have one pair of work boot i gotta rotate so shortly after i got the caterpillars i went to the red wing store because i got sick and tired of spending 150 200 on a pair of justin slip-on boots that you know they were wearing out really quickly and i was like you know what i'm finally going to go back to red wing i've had some red wings before and they were great boots so i went to red wing now Hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. These boots were like $265, okay? $265. They're called uh, Red Red Wing Irish Setters, okay? Great boot. These have been amazing boots. They're the old, old school uh, construction style stitch. They've been really good boots for me. Uh, one of the things I do when I first get my boots is I'll take just a jar of Vaseline and I'll put an old sock on my hand and just really cover that sock in Vaseline and I'll rub it all over the leather of my new boots. And I'll do that periodically over the next six, seven months. And then generally I kind of stop, get to a point where I just don't do it anymore. But hey, these have still been great boots and I make sure and I rotate them and I keep them dry. The boots are going to last longer and my feet are going to be healthier, okay? So we just went through some of my shoes. I used to have about twice as many shoes. As I get older, I've got to buy shoes for my kids. My wife has caught on to my shoe addiction, and now she likes to have some nice shoes. So it gets a little bit more difficult. I can't be as selfish as I used to be, but there's a little bit of my shoe collection and uh, you know what those shoes do for me. Please go out there, like this video, okay? Follow, share it. And I want you to really think about, next time you put on your shoes, think about, are those shoes right for you? And have you ever had anyone actually test you? You can go in a Nike store, okay? Go to the shopping mall. You can go in a Nike store, and there's probably other stores, and you can actually get on a treadmill. And they will record you on that treadmill, and they will make sure to put you in the shoe that you're supposed to be wearing for your pronate, okay? And if you're out there and you have hurting feet all the time and you're wearing dress shoes and you're wearing slip-on boots, well, think about it. There's probably a reason that your feet are hurting. Let's find a way to solve that problem and get in a shoe that's going to be comfortable for you because we stand on our feet quite frequently and it's it's a very integral part of our body and we need to make sure and take care of it the right way